Howdy ho neighborinos, we are here today with week one of the NCP going up against the Uzi Gunner and his bullet punch club. You can see my team, you can see his team. I'm doing it, I'm doing it a bit different, right? No more showdown. We own Peakalytics. It gives you a nice visual of everything along with the EVs. Cause like, you know, like I don't really like uh I like having the 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 pictures you know and like if you do showdown it's just not really the same it doesn't really seem as nice and then if you do it on the game itself it's really hard to have everything in there so we're gonna try it like this and see see if we can uh you know make this work but i really do like it here so um funny story me and uzi played way fucking back in the day like three or four years ago in a uh in a tournament um God, like, yeah, four years ago, man. It's, like, way early in my career before I think I even played in any draft leagues on YouTube. It was just, like, a, uh, man, it was it was so long ago. Um, I think I made playoffs, and not playoffs, but, you know, I made, like, the, uh, the top cut or whatever in the playoffs. And then Uzi, I lost to him, and he went on to win the whole thing. So, you know, this man is a fantastic player. Um, he's got an insanely scary team especially when you look at my defensive pokemon here which are going to be like pelipper ferrothorn wheezing you know uh aegislash destroys all three of those so i basically have to pray that uh, i can i can click the right button and switch in the right pokemon and uh, we'll see how it goes you know so um starting off here we got mamoswine if you look at his team just overall mamoswine absolutely dick stuff down like holy shit mammal swine life orb adamant three attack uh, four three attacks we're just gonna leave off an attack but uh dual stab plus shard which is i guess is a triple stab i don't know it feels domize man and then knock off to be able to hit Uxie. uh knocking items on anything will be nice so um i don't usually do this but i was i was uh I was nervous about this matchup because I know Uzi's a fantastic player and he, you know, he's in WBE and stuff. So like, he's got like, you know, he's got plenty of experience under his old belt. So I did two mocks and uh, I, <laughs> if you guys know me, dude, I ain't never done a mock in my life, you know, but I went ahead and did it this time just because it's been a minute since I played draft. Like I haven't played a single draft game since the IBL and that went, you know, not great. So, um, wanted to make sure I at least had a, a, genital idea of what was going on you know but life orb memo puts in so much work versus this team uh it hits almost everything on his team super effectively like almost everything and then ice shard is super nice to pick off uh you know weekend stuff then we have wheezing gala here with basically just max defense a little bit of speed because it does hit the same speed tier as clef if i'm not mistaken i think that's what it was clef maybe it was cool fish i don't know but um a little bit of speed just in case Pain Split, Clear Smog, Strange Steam, and Willow Wisp. This guy is basically just here to uh, be able to eat hits from, you know, Garchomp, from Clef, from uh, Lycanroc, from uh, Mineshow. And then the only thing about fucking Weezing here is, is it cannot touch Aegislash. So I, I, I stacked on Willow Wisp to be able to at least burn it. But if he's special, I still don't do anything to it, you know, which is super unfortunate. But you got to do what you got to do, man. I need this boy to wall all the rest of his physical attackers. Next, of course, we have Pelipper with U-Turn, Scald, Roost, and Defog. Basically, again, just max max, a little bit of speed. Um, this guy is obviously going to be super nice to be able to uh, set the weather for Kingdra. And uh, being able to get momentum, got Roost and Defog on there. Keep rocks off the field and then also keep healthy if possible. Uh, maybe spray some Scalds around, get a burn or two if that would be, you know. And that's a thing that could happen. Then... Kingdra here with Metronome with the Swift Swim. He's Modest, Surf, Dragon Pulse, Hydro Pump, and Sub. So basically, uh, early game, I can click Hydro Pump when it won't matter as much. Like if I'm predicting a switch, you know, because who hits Pump, you know? And then late game, we can lock into, not lock into, but we can click Surf or Dragon Pulse. Basically, the plan is, uh, I'm expecting an Aegis Slash that's like mixed with like Shadow Ball, Close Combat, you know, like Shadow Sneak, and then uh, Flash Cannon probably. Maybe even Iron Head, just depending. I guess Flash Cannon makes a lot more sense. But um, I do have the substitute there, so that way if he wants to stall up my rain turns with a, uh, you know, with the good old-fashioned uh, King Shield, I can get behind a sub. I can also click Metronome Boosted Water Move or Dragon Move and just start spamming it. And if we click it five times, it's doing double damage. While it does kind of suck losing the immediate damage boost that you would get from something like 
uh, life orb or specs, I think. If I can get this in versus Aegislash clicking King Shield or maybe a Roosting Spadef Mandy Buzz, maybe even something like Ooxie that's going for, you know, rocks and U-turns and stuff like that, I can potentially start doing some really, really, really big damage with uh, Swift Swim Kingdra here. Then we have Tornadus with the Life Orb. Hurricane, Dark Pulse, U-Turn, and Sludge Wave. This thing just basically hits almost his entire team very nicely. Now, the one thing that I didn't think about here, because I was like, you know, you, you, you look at the threats on his team, and you're like, those top, like, eight are fucking huge threats to this team. So, I didn't do anything for Raboot or Carbink. Like, yeah, uh... You know, Hurricane will hit Raboot, but if he's like, if he's offensive, I mean, obviously he'll be offensive, but he's like, you know, boosting item with Sucker, that could be an issue. But we hit everything else. Also, Carbink, I almost put uh, Weather Ball on this guy, but I was like, what's the point? You know, I'm just going to Hurricane everything anyways. So, uh, Carbink isn't a Pokemon, and that's not coming, right? Definitely no. But uh, Hurricane does do big dick damage. Uh, Nasty Plot would have been nice, but I thought Momentum was a little bit better. Last but not least, we have Choppleberry, Ferrothorn, Knockoff, Stealth Rock, Iron Head, and Leech Seed. Uh, a th I almost said a thousand. A hundred Spadef just to be able to take uh, Aegislash hits a little bit better. If he is uh, just like Spell Tag, I think. We live two Shadow Balls. If he's, uh, you know, Life Orb or something like that, we should live Shadow Ball into close combat. And then Knockoff does huge damage to uh, Aegislash. So after he takes some Iron Barbs damage, maybe a Life Orb hit or whatever, we can kill with the Knockoff. Potentially get up Stealth Rocks to help pressure things like, you know, uh, Mandy Buzz and the Rotom Mo that will probably be switching in over and over and over again. And then just General Chip on, you gotta salute General Chip, on everything will be nice. Leech Seed for a little bit of passive recovery because uh, one thing we were, we were looking at when we were building was it sucks not having lefties because uh, Pharaoh does come in on a lot of things. But, alas, uh, we kind of need the Chopper so that Aegislash, at least, we can at least attempt to live two hits from Aegislash, you know. But, that's going to be the team. I am really excited. Guys, like I said, it's been a hot minute since we played a Draft League game, so i got to get back in it. But, I've been playing Showdown, I did some mocks, I, I, my head's in the game. You know, I feel like my last few uh, seasons in Draft League, it just, it was hard to care, you know. It's just so much shit was going on at the same time that I was just like, just get this out of here, I'm done, you know. But, I'm reinvigorated now, I get to play my fucking homie from back in the day, so it'll be a good game, I'm hoping. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, this man's insane team is going to be whenever I get it. Because uh, the two people I mocked brought two very different teams. So I don't know what the fuck to expect. Honestly, I don't know what to expect at all. So that's going to be the team builder. I will see you guys in the battle. Wish me luck. All right, here we are with the battle versus Uzi. Let's jump in. Let's see what he brought. Damn scared. He brought the Carbink, Jesus Christ. Carbink, Ooxie. Uh, we got Mind Shell. Uh, Lycanroc. AG. And Clef. Okay. So, no Rotal Mo. Super nice. No, um. Uh, what's it called? No Rotom Mo, no Garchomp. So, Mammal Swine puts in significantly less work than it did in Team Matchup. But, uh, I'll take this, you know? Uh, Rain is looking huge here. Ooxie might be a problem, though. So, let's just lead right off with Pelipper. Get some rocks up. Real quick, while I'm here, well, we got a little bit of time. Okay, Uxie gets all kinds of electric moves, so if he leads with that, I am going to be forced out. What about fire moves, though? He gets fire punch. And he does not get body press. Okay, noted. Noted. Let's do this shit, bro. Damn, Uzi looking fresh as fuck. He leads right off with the puffer. Okay. So... 
Um, let's see here. I think we go hard into uh, hard into Pharaoh. If he SDs and has close combat, we should be able to take that hit. If he has like Thunderfang, we'll scout for that. He just sets up rocks. Okay. So what I need to do here is probably just throw off seeds, I think. That seems like a decent play. If he wants to close combat me. Oh, he taunts. Okay. Good play. Probably just saw that one coming, huh? <laughs> we'll throw off an iron head then. Um, the Legendrock has taunt. Taunt rocks. Taunt rocks. I'm hoping he just has like a cell rock. Like a cell rock and uh, something else. Okay. Nakamura, what's that? He goes into mine shell. Okay. Maybe hit this man with an iron head. That does a chunk, huh? So here's the thing, um, I'm Chopple, I can just stay in, I can just stay in and get an Iron Head off versus this thing if I want, um, I feel like Weezing's pretty important for, uh, damn dude actually, hold up, I kinda wanna go Weezing, but if he U-turns here I don't wanna give him just the easy play into, uh, I think he U-turns here, I think he U-turns here, I'm throwing off a knockoff. He goes for knockoff. Okay. I should have iron headed, bruh. There goes my chopple. We knock off his choice scarf. This is going super poorly, huh? <laughs> I should have just fucking either killed him or, you know, done the thing. Super tempted to just go, uh,. Super tempted to just go, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go torn. I think I'm gonna go torn on either the close combat or the U turn. We have lost our chopple, which is no bueno. Here's big torn. He just U turns, okay. Okay, so he's showing knock and U-turn. He was Scarf, which was knocked off. As he goes back into Lycanroc. Um, I can go into... Uh, I can go into Doug Demodome on this. I think that's what we're going to have to do. He's gonna withdraw. Did he go AG? He went Mind Shell. Okay. So I guess he's expecting me to go hard into Pharaoh Thorn again. That's fine. Don't want to make the same play twice, so you'll love to see it. I thought a Willow Wisp here on the incoming uh, Aegis Slash, I think. Probably just U turns out. Yep. He does U turn. Um, he could go Uxie. He could also go AG. This is free AG every time, pretty much, uh, which is unfortunate. Especially if it's special, because the burn won't even fucking matter, you know? Imperium. That is AG. Dude, AG's shiny, sick as fuck. Cool, we get this guy burned. 
We get a little bit of sludge. Sweet. I saved this 100%. And I think I go into Pharaoh. Yeah. Blah. We go Pharaoh. I can eat two Shadow Balls. Hopefully. Uh, if he is physical and has the close combat, uh, he's burned, so that's nice. What you gonna click, bud? Blade form. Goes right for the Shadow Ball. See how much this is gonna do. 138 to 26. 138 to 26? Hold the dick on. That did so much. Yeah, that did, like, specs damage. That did specs damage. So, um, big yikes. Big yikes. So he just gets a kill here. Yeah. I'll go for knock, just in case. Um, I guess, if anything, I should have gone for uh, rocks. Yeah, but he's just going to shadow ball. So Pharaoh Thorn goes down early to AG. Oakley, Oakley. That did so much damage, though. Good job. I think that's specs. I think that is choice specs. So I guess we go into Mammo and we click us a nice knockoff. Probably on this clef. Probably on this clef. He does withdraw. Uh, if we see Uxie here, that'd be nice. Knock on Manila. It's mine shot. Okay. Good play, good play. Um, yeah, he's not in range of shard, so that's no fun. I think I gotta go Pelly. I think I gotta go Pelly and attempt to, uh, to defog, I guess. These rocks are a uh, hurting dog. He just knocks off. Um, knock, you turn. Rock Slide doesn't kill, but if he has uh, Stone Edge, there's definitely a good chance to. He does have Stone Edge. Thank God he misses. Okay. We motherfucking take those. Okay. We fucking take those. I tell you what. We take half from Edge. We do, in fact, take half from Edge if we go Kingdra here. Kingdra puts on the most offensive pressure, though, where I feel like if we go Doug, he probably just U-turns here. I think he's U-turning here. You know what? Let's put Dick on the table. He's U-turning here. I'm U-turning as well. No! Fuck! Dude. 
Okay, I gotta slow the fuck down. I just clicked defog when I made a good play and clicked fucking U-turn. Ugh, my controller's lagging. I gotta get a new controller, dude. This shit, it's like... I feel like it takes a second to get there, you know? And it's unfortunate, because I definitely just fucking... God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I just defogged twice, because I'm fucking stupid as shit. Dude, that would have been such a good play. The U-turn there was such a good play. I gotta slow the fuck down. That's a big yikes. That's a big fucking yikes. Um, I guess it's going to Torn. And, uh, CD wants to click here. Um, I guess that's probably not a good play, because he could be clicking Electric Move here. But, um, let's see what we gotta do, you know? He goes for Trick Room. Okay. Alright, bro, I see you. Fucking Trick Room, huh? So, if I had to guess, he either... Oh, I don't know if he would attack me here. I think he might want to, like, switch out and go into, uh... Carbink? Or something like that? Carbink could be his play. Do I just throw up a Hurricane? Just... To do the thing. You know what? Let's just click a nice U-turn. Just click a nice clean U-turn. I imagine he's going to do the same. Just lost ourselves so much momentum right there. God damn it, dude. Gotta slow down. Gotta chill the fuck out. Pink guy. Yep. <laughs> So we U-turn. So when Uxi has TR and U-turn, that's a good bring. That's a really good bring. I'm gonna go right into Doug Demodome. Right on into Mr. Douglas Demodome. And here's the thing, though, um, when it comes to dealing with young Aegislash, I don't, you know? <laughs> um, I just don't. When the Trick Room is up, this becomes a huge issue. He's got three turns left, too. Um, yeah, I can't let, uh, I can't let AG in for free, so I gotta go into, uh, I guess we gotta go back into Torn. Oh my fuck. We died. Bro, we died. God damn. Torn goes down hard, bro. Mother fuck. Okay, so that's a play that happened. This is looking rough, dog. This is looking real rough. <laughs> um, I think I just have to throw off a, uh, a strange steam. Uh, he definitely goes AG this time. But uh, there's not much I can do about that, you know? At least we get a little bit of chip off on him, perhaps. He's making really good plays. He's making really good plays. He does go Imperium. We hit him with Strange Steam. That does so little. He's going to take some more chip from that burn. How much rain do I have left? 
One turn of rain. I have to sack this, right? I have to sack this and go into Pelipper? I mean, what else do I do? There's n literally nothing else to do. Um, I guess I can go for Pain Split, expecting him to uh, maybe click Shadow Ball. Blue Eyes, Yikes, Dragon. Blue Yikes, White Dragon, actually, is what I'm going for here. Let's see Flash Cannon. That is going to blow us the heck back. Weezing goes down to AG. The dimensions return to normal. That's good. Okay, so we still have... We still got Kingdra in the back. So if I can start pumping off motherfucking... Uh, my fucking us. We should be fine. He's probably Sash like rock, which is unfortunate. Uh, we do get the drizzle up. I think he's gonna want to. Okay, so here's the thing, right? If he is, um, if he specs, I don't think he just clicks flash cannon here, unless that kills me, which would be unfortunate. Um, Flash Cannon might just kill me. Um, it does 79 men. Yeah, I'm in range of Flash Cannon, huh? Okay, so we keep Pelly around. I think we go hard into uh, Skin Bone here. If he's not if he's not Specs and we just die here, then I get 6 0 and fuck me, right? You know? He's going to withdraw. Chin chin. There's Uxie. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna get up a sub in case he wants to try to like T wave me or something. If he does just set up Trick Room, that is also a valid play. But at least now we get to click pump a few times. Let's hit a hydro pump. Come on, Kingdra. Let's hit a fucking hydro pump. It'd be nice if he only had U-turn on this or something, you know, so he wouldn't actually be able to break my sub. He has Psychic. Yikic. That's Yikic confirmed. He's going to U turn. The good news is, Pump is going to be doing a lot because of Metronome. Um, is he going into Clef? Damn, dog, Uzi's good at this, huh? He definitely got me with some plays early on that I should have made. I fucking misclicked, which threw off every ounce of momentum that I had worked towards whatsoever. Um, unfort. There's Nakamura. That drops. Okay. So best worst case scenario, it's not a six zero, you know. He was in the pink guy, yeah, yeah, as they do. Um, two turns of trick room, one turn of rain.
I guess we go sack uh, memo. He chose up a Moonblast, but at least I can potentially get a little bit of chip with uh, with the thing. Yep. Uh, he's like Life Orb Offensive Cleft, because that did a hell of a lot to Torn. Yeah, dude, that did so fucking much. Memo dies to Clef. Uh, we gotta go back into Torn. I mean, uh, Pelly here. Pelly, rather. Peller. <laughs> yep, there's Moonblast. He does underspeed me in the trick room. Makes sense. Pelly goes down to Clef. I just lost half, half my team to Clef, dude. This is... Un-fucking-fortunate. All there is to do now is to try to get the most metronome clicks <laughs> with, uh, with Hydro Pump as I can get, you know? Um, I gotta hope that Pump Oko's is Clef, too. It's a rain-boosted, modest Pump. It doesn't die. He's going to go for Moonblast. That's GG, bro. That is GG. Okay, so this is not how I wanted the first game to go. But uh, we fucking... You know, we... Uh, we threw away every 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 ounce of momentum we had. Clicking fucking Defog twice. And uh, I definitely made some, uh, some iffy plays there in the beginning. So, um, yeah, he played really fucking well, dude. Uzi played so well. I... He, well, see, here's the thing. Uzi had to play against me. I had to play against myself and Uzi. So, really, it's two against one, bro. You know? <laughs> um, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Next week, I will click slower. And I'm going to see about getting a different controller. Because this shit sucks, dude. That was so fucking dumb. Um, yeah, guys, not the way we wanted to start the season. But, hey, we'll bounce back. We'll fucking bounce back, dude. I think, I think we made a couple plays that show that this isn't completely bad. But, you know. Uh, I just, yeah, threw away my fucking momentum. That's so dumb, dude. Alright, bye forever. So what?